What's up everybody? Got another video here for you. This video is finding the distance from a point to a line. And our line is given to us in parametric equations. So how, how are we going to go about doing this? Well, there's, there's different ways that you can do this. Here, here's a way I found, I think. It's pretty neat. So, so basically what we have is we have, we have this line out here, okay? And, and, and I'm not, I'm going to draw it a different color, but I've got this line out here and then we've got this point and we want to know this distance here, okay? So if you, if you look at this, if I can find a vector from this point to the line that's perpendicular, then all I need to do is find the magnitude of that vector there. Okay. So look at this. Th this line here, th this line has parametric, parametric equations, x equals 1 plus t, y equals 3 minus 2t, and z equals 4 minus 3t. So what I can do is I can pick a value for t and that will put a and that will give me a point. So in other words, if t is zero, then that would give me the point one, three, four on the line. Okay. So so how can I find a vector from this point, four, one, negative two, this point, to this line that's that's with the, those parametric equations and that vector be perpendicular to that line. Well, let's just call this vector A. Okay, you can call it whatever you want, but we'll just call it vector A. And so that's gonna be, okay, whatever point coordinate you have out here, okay, whatever point coordinate you have, you're going to do, and see, this would be your point 4, 1, negative 2. So that would be x minus 4, y minus 1, and z minus negative 2. That would give me that, would give me that vector there. So, well, in this case, we have 1 plus t minus 4, right? Because x is 1 plus t. And then y is 3 minus 2t, so I'm going to have 3 minus 2t minus 1. And then for the z component, I'm going to have 4 minus 3t minus negative 2. Okay? And so now that's going to give me vector a is going to be, uh, let's see, what is that? That's going to be negative 3 plus t. This is going to be uh, 2 minus 2t. And then this is going to be 6 minus 3t. All right. And so, so what that's going to do is that's, you know, I can plug in any value for t and that'll give me the vector to the line. See, it can be, it could be a, a vector to any point on the line. I've just got to figure, you know, it just plug in a value of t and that will give me the vector from this point up to the line. But my problem is I want a vector. I need the vector that's perpendicular. Okay? All right. So let's 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 think about that. So I've got a vector from this point up to any point on that line. That's what this right here gives me. All right, so now let's get the directional vector for this line, and we'll call that V. Remember, that's the vector ABC. So that's going to be what? 1, and remember, it's the coefficients of T. So that's going to be 1, negative 2, negative 3. All right, so this vector, vector V, is parallel to our line. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the dot product of V and A. Okay, let's do the dot product. So that's going to be 1 times negative 3 plus T plus negative 2 times 2 minus 2T two plus negative 3 times 6 minus 3T. 
Okay, so that's the dot product. Now, think back. <clears throat> if I do the dot product of these two vectors, okay, what does that have to equal in order for those two vectors to be perpendicular? Well, remember, the dot product of two vectors, if it equals zero, then that means that those two vectors are perpendicular. So now I've got the dot product right here. I've got this dot product set equal to zero. And so now I can solve for t and see what t needs to be in order to get my point on this line. That, that'll give me the coordinate of this point right here. Okay. All right. So we've got negative 3 plus t minus 4 plus 4t minus 18 plus 9t equals 0. All right. And so that's going to give me 14t minus 25 equals 0, which that's going to give me t is equal to 25 over 14. All right. All right. So now... What, what I'm going to get now is I need to get vector A. Okay, see this right here, this, this vector right here, uh, let me do that in a different color. This vector right here, this red vector here, that is my vector A. Okay, and how do I get that? Well, I take this T value and plug it in to here okay all right so that's going to give me a is equal to negative 3 plus 25 over 14 uh, 2 minus 2 times 25 over 14 and then 6 minus 3 times 25 over 14 and so that's going to give me A is equal to, that's negative 17 over 14, negative 11 over 7, and 9 over 14. And so that's this vector right here. Okay, let me erase the other ones. That's this vector. And so now all I need to do is find the magnitude of A. So that's going to be negative 17 over 14 squared plus negative 11 over 7 squared plus 9 over 14 squared. And then it's the square root of all that. All right. And so that's going to give me the square root of 280. Ah, well, let me, I'm going to come down here and do it. The square root of 289 over 196 plus 121 over 49 plus 81 over 196. And it's the square root of that. And that's going to give me the square root of 61 over 14. And that's the distance between that line and the point. That's the distance between this point and this line here. So, so basically what you're doing is you're just you're parameterizing this vector right here. Okay, you're just getting that vector, this vector here, in terms of t. Okay, so by subtracting this, this, and this to each one of these x, y, and z coordinates. You're just you're basically getting a formula for the x, y, and the z component, okay? And then you do the dot product, set it equal to zero, and that tells us what t needs to be to get this point here, so we can go perpendicular, okay? All right. So I hope this video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next video. Later.